help somehow. All right. Well, I don't want to. I don't want you to have to give away too much because people have to go read it tomorrow. But can we get a little Seattle preview of of what you're looking at here at number nine? I I have a spicy uh, Seattle. Okay, I don't know if it's spicy or not, but I have a lot of action for them. So uh, at number nine, I'm looking at the Seahawks. I think if someone like Derek Stingley lasts that long, then you can go ahead and take him. But uh, we all know how John Schneider operates, and I'm looking at this team, and they need so much help at so many premium positions. So I've got the Seahawks trading back to with the city that I'm in right now, the Philadelphia Eagles. They go from nine to 15. And let me know, what do you think of this trade? They get back a third-round pick. They move back to 15, and the Eagles trade them Woodenville native Andre Dillard, the left tackle from Washington State, who doesn't really have uh, you know a spot uh, in the Eagles' starting lineup when he's played at left tackle. He's been pretty good. He's still young. He's entering the final year of his contract. So I've actually got the Seahawks trading back twice. But what do you think about that? That type of trade for that? Um, I'm not out on it, but I think that. Well, it depends on what I ha- what you have them doing at 15. What do you have them then doing okay. at 15? Hold on. Okay. I want to hear the whole scenario before I start grading the draft. <laughs> this is going to be like a two-hour segment uh, <laughs> on just what I have the Seahawks doing here. <laughs> so I've got them trading back again. John Schneider gets oh my a call gosh. from his old buddy, Brian Gutekunst from the Green Bay Packers. You know, Aaron Rodgers holds them hostage and says, uh, you know, you better trade up for a wide receiver or you're going to have to pay me $50 million on a, on a new contract or something like that. So the Seahawks trade back again. So now they go from 15 to 22. Nah. They get another third-round pick in return. But wait, you, you, you might be surprised at who I have sliding to 22. So then at 22, uh, a pass rusher who some might think the Seahawks were taking the, at number nine is still available, and that's Jermaine Johnson from Florida State. He slides down the draft board. The Seahawks get Jermaine Johnson at 22. They get two additional third-round picks, and they take a flyer on a left tackle uh, in Andre Dillon. Right. So 